I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to episode 19 of Soccer in the City. We see how far we can take New York City FC into football. And since the last episode where we got a good win, didn't we, in the FA in the FA Cup, in the US Open Cup, our fifth round against Philadelphia, and of course a good win against Dallas has won the league. You can see two games, two wins, which is wonderful stuff, starting at home, 2-1 against LA Galaxy. Now you can see here, we went down to 10 men. Uh, Rod Wallace stupidly got sent off two bookings in the 41st minute. But even with that case being down to 10 men, we were in control of the game. Via got us off to a good start with an early lead. Alton Williams added a second before LA Galaxy pulled one back. Um, but yeah, we were too good for Galaxy, even with just the 10 men. Then we went and we played Vancouver Whitecaps. And this was a tough game for us. We had a really difficult time breaking them down. But we were by far the better team. It was a deserved 1-0 win. Alexander Ring got the goal. Not real big score of forces, he missed a ring, but uh, he got one on this occasion. But the issue we had here was uh, Londomo got himself injured. He's out f uh, two to four weeks, about a month. So we're going to be missing him this episode. And I feel like it really hurts because we've been playing really well with him, just setting into that deep-lying playmaker role. So we're going to go in a little bit blind here in this episode in the derby against New York. ZLM will come in, so hopefully he'll be able to pick up where Ludomo has left off. If we look at the table, you can see it was I mean, really just a one-league game. We're a point behind Atlanta in both our conference as well as the supporters' shield, but we do have a game in hand, which is crucial um, because, obviously, a win there, and we would go top a draw. Goal difference is going to mean we're still second, but... Uh, at this point in the season, though the season is quickly uh, rushing by, isn't it? 20 games into it now, um, but we're in a really, really good position, having gone, as you can see, from last position earlier on in the season. And we do have some transfers to catch you up on. Uh, Matarita, as I said last episode, was probably going to leave for Millwall. He did 1.4. You can see he's probably at 6 million now, which is annoying, but 1.4, possibly rising to 1.6. I'm not sure if we have a sell-on clause there. I can't remember if I put that in or not. But anyway, Matarita has gone. Uh, and we've got three signings in, as you can see. Two we've, players we've got up from the academy. This is basically a backup goalkeeper because we need a backup goalkeeper. So he's third choice. I think uh, McIntosh, who's currently a backup, picked up an injury. So we didn't have any players for the bench or goalkeeper for the bench. So we signed uh, Valeski on a contract. You can see he's on a minimum weight. I think he's actually on a reserve contract. He's never going to play for us full time, but it's good to have a third keeper on the bench just in case we need him. And then Fam on Koa. We'll go with that. He's a really, really highly rated uh, right back. So he's only 16 years of age. Vietnamese. I think he's a Vietnamese American, I'm assuming, if he came through the academy. He's just more in the team just to get him into the professional lineup. We don't want somebody else going and pinching him uh, under our noses if he's not on a full-time contract with us. So that's why he's in the squad. We're not really going to use him. We might bring him off the bench in, the, in a game here or there at the end of the season if we've already qualified for the playoffs, um, but one for the future there. And this is the one I'm really, really proud of. Look at this, on loan for Manchester City, Eric Palmer Brown. We've got him on loan for the end of next season, so two seasons from our, our parent club, of course, Manchester City. This is going to really help. The, you can see he's on a minimum wage, under a grand a week, for two seasons. We've struggled to sign centre-backs, of course, most of our defence is out of contract. This is a big, big signing, not just for this season, but for next season as well. That's going to really help us in our salary cap dilemmas. So as I said, this episode is going to be New York in the derby. We got absolutely pounded by them earlier on in the season. It was 4-1, I think. Yeah, 4-1 at home. So we've got another game at home against them. I'm not quite sure why we're not going to their place, but that's okay. We'll beat them this time, I'm sure. And then Colorado in the US Open Cup quarterfinal, where we're going to play some of the kids. So it'll be interesting to see. But let's crack on to New York to the derby, and this is the team we're sending out. It's Johnson in goal. Callens, Escobar, and Cheneau across the back. Wallace goes down the left. Allen down the right. Zellalem, as I said, comes in for Lundemo to play alongside Alexander Ring. And then it's Maxi Morales, David Villa, and Alton Williams up top. We don't have Eric Palmer Brown on the bench for this game. We're going to give him a start against Colorado and just slowly integrate him into the squad. So we'll look out for him next game. And of course, for all the goals in between episodes after this uh, Colorado game, there will, of course, be goals of the month. So check out that as well. Now, Assistant says we should get revenge. I don't like revenge as a team talk. I know there's a lot of people that do like it. I'm just not a massive fan of it. I think the best thing to say is just we've been on a good run. Go out there and impress me. The old calm, we have faith. And then hopefully we'll get some Derby Day revenge. <laughs> Looks like a full house, sounds like a full house, fans in full voice, and let's see what we can do here. Hopefully it won't be as bad as the last W. We definitely owe the fans, don't we? Because 4-1 at home to your biggest rivals. I'm assuming that Red Bull are NYFC's biggest rivals. I don't see why they wouldn't be. Um, let's see what we can do here. Wallace is in a lot of space. Can he get across him? Williams is in there if he can. Alter Williams! Oh, you'd wonder if 
maybe a little bit early for him that chance. He usually has been quite good, hasn't he, in the air this season? He's been good on the ground, to be fair, as well. Um, got another nice goal against uh, LA Galaxy, which you'll see in goals of the month. Corner comes in, out on Williams. Speak of the Devils there to clear it. Morellas is there. Can he find David Villa? Of course he can. What can David Villa do? Not quite with the pace he used to have, but look at the men queuing up in the box here. If he can pick someone out, back post as well. Go on, David Villa. Across the face of goal. It's got to be there for Wallace. Oh! <laughs> was a ruthless counter-attack, my friends. David Villa did so, so well. So many players getting forward, and you could see Wallace making a late run in, and he went straight across the box. It must have been tempting to shoot, but Wallace couldn't miss on his left foot. What a goal that is. That's the sort of start we wanted. Now we just need to keep it going, don't we? There we go. That's a terrible mistake. David Villa, has he gone for goal there? I think he has. Spotting the keeper off his line, I'm sure. Now, this is not great. Oh, it's a penalty. Are you kidding me? That is, what, 30 seconds after we scored? We've gone and... I don't know what we're complaining about. That looked like a stonewaller. All right, come on, Sean Johnson. What can he do here? He's up against Lopez. Go on, Johnson. Oh, he went the right way. Just couldn't quite get a hand to it. That is infuriating. Less than a minute between the goals. Unbelievable. Oh, he was so close to saving that, though, wasn't he? All right, well, so we start again. I should maybe have told him to concentrate after that goal, as it turns out, because that uh, was just silly defending. Can we give them an encouragement here? Well, there we go. We can now. Come on, boys. Just settle back in. You're doing so well. Alton Williams has picked up a knock. We do have Harrison on the bench. Not necessarily a striker, um, but a very good attacking player. Bruised thigh. You should be able to play through a bruised thigh, I would think. It doesn't look like his fitness has taken too much of a knock. He's there now. Can he find... Look at the space Wallace is in once again. Can we get across into the back post? Williams is there in space right now. It's gone in for Alton Williams. Headed clear. Back to Wallace. Build again, boys. That's fine. Rings there. Look at Zalalem. Can we go across? Look at the man out here. He's gone. It was staying with Wallace. That's fine. Can he get across into the back post? He dinks it in for David Villa! <laughs> This time I told him to concentrate, and the patience of this build-up was really, really good, wasn't it? I thought maybe go over there to Allen, but we stuck with Wallace down the left, and eventually he's pulled it back, and Villa couldn't miss. Poor defending. The goalkeeper should probably have claimed that ball himself as well. It was only a few yards out from goal, but that's a little bit better. Now, hopefully this time, as I said, we've co we'll concentrate and not go and concede straight away. Allen's got the ball in for Zalalem, in for Ring. This is nice. Back out for Allen. No, we've got him for Maxi Morales. Across for Alton Williams. Wallace is again in space. It's gone for Morales, though. If Morales can pull it back, he's gone for the shot. It's gone for Wallace. Can he pull it back first time? Villa Villa! Oh, good save. Ah, uh, you wonder if we just played around with it a little bit too much there. Now we have to defend the set piece. Cross comes in. Oh, it should be the keeper's ball. It kind of is, but Ring has completed the clearance. So things haven't gone too badly here for us. We've dominated possession. We've had more shots on goal, but we're just the one goal up. Um, what do we tell them here? I'm tempted to tell them that I'm not far from pleased with that, but we might say, we might say, okay, we're going to try something here. We're going to say we're happy with the performance, keep it up, and then individually, so anyone that's playing below, say, a 6.7, we're going to tell them it's not good enough. They can do better. Uh, so we'll do that, and then we'll come back for this second half. Okay, bit of a risky team talk, because we are only the one goal up, and we weren't necessarily fantastic. But we weren't bad, though, and I don't really know anything else to say. We, we could have said, don't get complacent. Um, but I feel like whenever you use that as the halftime team talk, it just kind of means you'll try and see out the game uh, without necessarily scoring, which I don't think is necessarily what we want to do. So we'll live and learn. We'll see if this sort of team talk works, and if it does, then we've got that in our back pocket if we need it again, don't we? Now, Alton Williams, given that he's picked up a knock and he's only playing a 6.5, I'm wondering if we should look to take him off here. Um, things aren't improving for him. If anything, he's just gone down to a 6.4. So we will take him off for Harrison. Uh, Harrison is still learning to play the striking role. Let's just try him as a poacher. 
see how that works. Uh, David, I mean, could, we could look to play David Villa in another role, but I like him as the advanced forward. He seems to do a good job as that. Uh, other players, I mean, Ro Robbie Allen, it's RJ Allen, I think. I don't think it's actually Robbie Allen. He's not having a great game either. We do have Gomez on the bench. Uh, we'll wait for this highlight, and I think that could be a change that we make as well. Uh, Gomez is going to start the Colorado game in the US Open Cup next, so I don't want to give him too many minutes, but... It's important we get the three points here. It's fallen for Rink. Can he hit it first time? He can! Rink! Oh, what a goal that would have been. Inches over the bar. We really just need this third goal, don't we? Just to help me breathe. Uh, we've got very frustrated, and then we've got a defender set PC. Can we get ahead on that? Rings there. He hasn't really cleared it thoroughly, though. It's still there. Can we get the head on that? We can't. Johnson's tipped it over the bar. That's a good save. Let's see if we can make this change before the corner because Allen is not having a good game and you can see Wallace down the other side is absolutely killing it looks as though Allen never really recovered from giving away that penalty does it must have just dinted his confidence um, if we're looking for another change here the other player that's not particularly doing well is Maxi Morales now I'd never want to take him off normally but I do wonder if we could bring on maybe Keaton Parks just go a little bit more defensively here. Let's look into doing that. Or do we bring Sands on? Let's bring Sands on. And what we can do is we can drop him straight back in there as a defensive midfielder. We can play David Villa in his preferred trachista role, so he'll kind of drop back in. And then we can move Harrison to an advanced forward. I think I like that. And then we'll go more control. We'll just tell our wing backs they need to sit a little deeper. And then if we go into team instructions here, we'll be highly structured, we'll lower the tempo, we'll stay on our feet, we'll be more disciplined, we'll stick to positions, and we will just look to retain possession as well. And then hopefully, this will enable us to see this game out, if not sneak a second. So this is before the changes, Villa has the ball, he's gone for Morales, Morales is going to get there. He's gone in for Hutt, Harrison, sorry. Harrison for David Villa! Oh, just over the bar again. It's almost gone through the exact same air that uh, the ring shot went through, hasn't it? Right at the same spot in the goal. Well, let's give them one last concentrate. We are coming into the end of the game here. Let's go defensive. Final minutes of the derby. And it looks as though New York is going to remain blue. Wallace has done well there. In for Stan. Stan's back to Wallace. We're keeping the ball. This is exactly what we wanted them to do. Lower the tempo, keep the ball away from them, and then frustrate them into giving away free kicks or mistakes. Several of them's there. Back to Sands. Back out to Wallace. This is wonderful stuff. Just moving them around, keeping the ball. Nice little triangles. Into the last five seconds. That's a wonderful ball for David Villa. He's gone back for Sands. Villa perfectly done. Kept control of the ball. And that is the Derby Revenge. Not quite as convincing as their 4-1, but... Not bad either, was it? Let's let's say a passionate well done, lads. That's a good derby win. And that win means we go back top of our conference, and it should mean we go back top of the Supporters' Shield as well. Uh, Alton Williams, a little bit more serious than we may have hoped for six to eight days, so we'll put him off to see the physio. We try out for in the derby. Wallace is fantastic. And guys, we'll wait right there. We'll be back for Colorado Rapids in the US Open quarterfinal. Okay, welcome back, and it's Colorado in the US Open quarterfinal, US Open Cup, I should say. We're not playing tennis. This is definitely football. So let's have a look at the team we're sending out. It's all change, as expected. It's Johnson in goal, continuing, because McIntosh just isn't quite ready yet. It's Anthony Robinson at left back. It's Palmer Brown making his debut in the middle with Navarro, of course, our young central defensive prospect. And Gomez goes down the right. It's Sands, but he's not going to be playing as a deep-lying playmaker. He's going to be playing as a, apparently, a box-to-box -box midfielder. I don't want him there. I want him to play as a defensive let's go to ball winner Def that's what we want him as a defensive ball winning midfielder with Parks playing as a deep lying playmaker on support I should have done this before, <laughs> before I started the cameras on we're going to have Lewis going down the left wing Harrison down the right Bullen in the middle and Cantu up top and you'll notice that this young kid that we signed from the academy the right back bam he's on the bench if things are going well we'll make give him his debut this game so Colorado with the 4-4-2 unusual for an MLS team isn't it but let's see how we go here uh, should encourage the team. I think we're going to go calm. Let's give the fans a good performance. Uh, 
despite the odds being against us, I would imagine we should be. I mean, we're winning the, the league. If it wasn't, I don't know if it's because the team we're playing it isn't our first choice. If that's why we're not favourites, but uh, let's see how we go here. Of course, this is a little bit more difficult for us, isn't it? Playing away from home, uh, and you, of course, we did change the formation. I'm sure you guys have picked up on that. You don't need me to tell you, but this is just the best way I think to get um, Lewis and Harrison going down the wings. Speak of the devil, there's Harrison. First time on the volley, not quite. That wasn't quite a volley, but good save. Was that Tim Howard? I'm assuming. I think he went to Colorado, didn't he? That would have been a cracking start. Harrison with the corner. That's not his best though, and that's going to be cleared. And are we going to be on the counter attack here? Or on the defensive to a counter attack, I should say. Oh, it's a nice ball across the field. We looked a little bit stretched here. This doesn't look great for us. It's a shocking cross shot, whatever you want to call it. Was it a corner? Maybe it was a corner. So it wasn't as bad. Maybe a little bit harsh there. So all action for the start, isn't it? Minute in, we've had a go at each end. Waiting for the corner to come in. It does. We're headed clear. Well done. Who was that? Lewis, I think it was. Good defensive header. It's not cleared yet. Palmer Brown, though, that should complete the clearance. No, nope, not quite. We couldn't quite win it. Oh, it's just not going away. There we go. Uh, or Colorado. Look at that. We have not touched the ball, really. Uh, let's give them some encouragement here. Um, yeah, Not going well. Uh, they haven't had a shot as of yet. We've had two, but they have had all of the ball. So Johnson goes long. Can we get on this? We can. It's there with Jack Harrison. Can he find a pass? Can he run at them all? Just kind of did nothing. and well, He ran at them. Uh, well, more into them than anything. That's not good defending. Johnson can't save us. And what was that? Is that Navarro? It is Navarro. We know he's young. And he has a tendency to just forget that he's defending at times. Not great play from Jack Harrison, if I'm honest. But Navarro should have had this. Even being done for pace. He's He's been done for pace strength. Everything else, desire. That wasn't good. Oh dear. All right, so we are behind, but there is still a long, long time to go here. Let's tell them to push forward. We just need to relax a little bit. I'm wondering, actually, given the team and that there's a lot of young players in there, if we should have maybe taken the pressure off rather than telling them to put in a performance for the fans. Uh, we can always look to do that at halftime. We've not been bad, though. We haven't had as much of the ball as we would like, but we certainly had our fair share of opportunities. Uh, let's give it just maybe a, a calm down. We're looking frustrated. No one's really looking motivated. We just need to relax here and let the football flow. Uh, but first things first, we need to defend from this set piece. They've taken it short. They're sort of passing it around. We're getting pulled out of every sort of position here. Can we get a foot in there? We can't. Can we win the header? We can't. Sean Johnson. It has gone over the bar. Just wasn't sure if that uh, got, took a touch or not. Uh, so not great, but Ken Bullen put in a good ball. He can for Navarro. I was wondering if he could redeem himself there. Jack Harrison has it. He's launched it in for... Is it a goal? He's offside. It looked offside. Sands it was that tucked it in, but it, it did look offside. So no complaints from the manager on that one. We'll let the fourth official keep his hearing. And let's see how we go. If we can just get in at 1-0 and then... Maybe, do we send a rocket up them, or do we sort of tell them, you're doing fine, kids, keep it going? Um, I'm inclined to send a rocket up them, because we need to be doing better, and, you know, even though they are young, we do need to set some standards here, don't we? If they're going to have a future at the club, um, no, that didn't work for stands at all, okay. Uh, yeah, if they want a future at the club, then they need to play to the standards, don't they? Okay, just a small tactical change at halftime there. We're going to sit a little bit deeper. Navarro did get done in behind for that goal. I'm just going to try and guard against that again. Um, we're going to pressure them much more on the ball, and we told them to get stuck in as well. Uh, so a couple of tactical tweaks there just to see if we can get ourselves back in this game. Uh, show some passion, I think. There's a little bit of motivation there, but not too much. In terms of changes, Lewis has been kind of not involved again, hasn't he? Um... Nothing is happening, so we're going to have to make some changes here. We're going to give Charlie Davies a game. He wants to leave. I think he is leaving. We're going to give our young uh, Garcia. Now, Garcia has come in a uh, bid from Crystal Palace, which we rejected, But if because it wasn't, it wasn't a great bid for us, if I'm honest. Um, but if we get a secondary bid that's sort of in the millions rather than the hundreds of thousands, then we will be looking to... He wants to leave, so we'll look to accept that. Oof. That was not good defending again, and we'll send him on his way with our best wishes. 
Um, yeah, I mean, if we can get, you know, I think 2.5 roughly was the fee I agreed with him that we would accept. If we get that for a 16-year-old, then we'll be cheering, won't we? Harrison gets it back across the goal. Davies not quite in the position to tuck it home. Has come back there for Harrison. He gets back post this time for Gus. Just over the top. That's a little bit better, though, isn't it? It's a little bit better. All right, I'm wondering, we are exploiting the flanks and it's not happening for us. What we might look to do is play wider to stretch the field but not exploit the flanks and just see if that brings us any more any more luck. We do have one more sub we could look to make. Um, Zeller Lemp's probably the guy that has to come on. You'd say maybe Bullen um, would be the one to come off. We might give... Do we give it a demand more? We'll give it a demand more here. It's We're not really doing anything. We haven't had many highlights. We've looked like a young team this game, haven't we? Which is really disappointing. Charlie Davies has picked up a knock. Oh, we can only... One more... It can only be pushed forward. Is anything going to come of this? Bullen! Bullen! Oh, I tell you what, that looked like it was going in for a second. It looked like it was dipping. Uh, let's pause that there. And we'll just tell them to push forward. That's all we can really do. Um, yeah, just not try more direct passing at this point. Higher tempo, maybe. Roam from positions. All the desperation things that you need. Unfortunately, I think the young t kids are just going to fall a little bit short here. I don't think we deserve to lose this game, guys. But let me know what you think in the comments. But ultimately, I just don't think we were quite good enough. We perhaps paid the price for, for playing the kids there, haven't we? Uh, we're not happy with that. It really wasn't good enough. So there we go. We go out. Colorado go through with Atlanta, Chicago. And this Deltas team, now they've knocked out... Uh, it was the LA Galaxy last round, wasn't it? And they've just knocked out New York Red Bull as well. So perhaps a dark horse there. But that's the end of our uh, US Cup run. Davey, I, you know what? He wants. He's leaving the end of the season anyway. We might just see if we can get someone to take him off our hands for the rest of this season. We'll see how we go. But that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed that. We got the Derby win. I think that was the main thing, wasn't it? The board doesn't care about the US Open Cup. I would have liked to have won it, get some more silverware in the trophy cabinet, but wasn't to be this season. We'll get them next time, though. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you're subscribing. I think we're going to be in with a decent chance of defending our MLS Cup title here, but you'll have to come back to find out, won't you? And speaking of coming back, next episode we have to do, I think, don't we, the next New York derby, the decider. We've won one each this season, so that'll be the decider there. We'll do DC United while we're at it. That'll be next episode on Monday, so make sure you come back for that. And until then, guys, enjoy your weekend. I've been Aussie Villain, and here are some of our best goals from July. Take care.